Mr. Gorbachev tear down this wall. President Ronald Reagan presided over the end of the Cold War and left an unforgettable legacy. Dutch, as he was known as a boy, came of age in Illinois during the Great Depression. The Reagan family never settled too long in one place. Reagan's father, Jack Reagan, was a shoe salesman with a drinking problem. I think that Reagan learned to shut out the unpleasantness in life. By the late 1930s, Reagan found himself in Hollywood, working as an actor. I hope those gunners can hold him off. Reagan settled comfortably into Hollywood life. In 1940, he married leading lady Jane Wyman, and they had two children. He also became president of the Screen Actors Guild. But by 1948, his marriage unraveled, and Reagan became interested in politics. He also found a new companion. She could listen to Ronnie talk all night. Ronald Reagan married actress Nancy Davis in 1952. With wife Nancy, Reagan found his number one cheerleader and supporter. They never tired of talking politics. A group of California businessmen became impressed by the charismatic actor and convinced him to run for governor. Reagan's political popularity was picking up momentum and by 1980, he landed in the White House. Then two months later, tragedy struck. In a failed assassination attempt, Reagan was shot. Reagan's speedy recovery put him back in the White House and he easily slipped into his second term as president. Thank you very much. By 1987, Reagan signed the landmark nuclear arms treaty with the Soviet Union, officially ending the Cold War. There is a great bond that draws the American and Soviet peoples together. It is the common dream of peace.